Heather here. Um, I thought I would put a video review online of this cooler speaker system that I have. I've had it for a few days and when I bought it, there weren't a lot of reviews, comments, or video reviews. Um, I'm loving it so much. I thought that I would post this video review for anyone else considering making the investment in this cooler. Um, so it is the Coolmax Tunes to Go Bluetooth 350 watt portable speaker and cooler. So um, this is a definitely a piece that's worth investing in, in my opinion. So normally it costs four hundred and sixty five dollars, not cheap, but considering all you're getting, um, still a pretty good value. But I watched it for a while, waited, and when it went on sale recently, I think I got it um, when it was on Amazon. It might still be there for that price for. $359.99. I finally made the investment and am so glad that I did. It comes in, I think, three colors, blue, red, and orange. Um, it's fall, Halloween's coming up, tailgating, camping season. I like the bright colors for that. So I got the orange version. That's what you see here. Um, plus, it's not a typical cooler, so I don't want to get the typical cooler color. Um, this is bright. It stands out, and it is a really, really fun conversation piece. Everyone wants to know about it. So before buying this in full disclosure, I was considering a different brand cooler, um, a Yeti, which I mentioned just because it's a similar price point. There's a lot of buzz about those coolers. They keep your ice frozen for days. They float, yada, yada. Well, what I really need a cooler for is predominantly camping and tailgating events. And I just need something that for when I camp will keep my stuff cool and frozen for a couple days. This keeps your ice frozen for up to three days, which is perfect for my needs. The other thing, anywhere I go, I'm always bringing a bunch of those little Bluetooth speakers um, and you know, charging batteries and cables and those kinds of things. With this, you kind of get an, an all-in-one and that makes my life so much easier. So I saw this particular brand uh, featured on a website as one of the best coolers you can get, best bang for your buck. And after getting it and playing around with it, um, I really, really like it. And one thing I want to note that I don't think a lot of people would realize, I did a lot of research before biting the bullet and, and ordering this. I want to note that it's made by a company that has expertise in sound systems. So seriously, this, this company is a big player in sound systems, speakers, amplifiers, etc. They know sound. This has, um, as you can see, four marine quality speakers. You've got the two uh, six and a half inch speakers here. At the top, you have two of the two inch tweeters. Um, so I'm gonna have my husband uh, get this a little bit closer to us so you can take a look at some of the sound and audio components. And you see there on the back, it's not fully extended. We don't need to look at it closer, but there's a uh, telescoping handle. So, uh, which makes it easy for portability and it's got great wheels. It'll go through sand, gravel, etc. So, um, I'm going to ask him to power the unit on for us. A little power switch there. And then lift the top screen up so we can just get a good look. So that cover is just to protect it from the elements. So the power up, it's gonna beep in a second. We've got the volume turned down. Normally it would go boo doo doop. But so by default, it goes into the Bluetooth mode. Very, very easy to pair. So what I'm gonna have him do is switch modes. All you do is hit that mode button. We're gonna switch it. Oh, All right. So huge volume. I'm gonna let him turn it up a little bit. That's my name. They call me. That looks like it was only about halfway, so this thing can, can crank. You can also control all of that with the remote control here that I'm showing you. Um, very, very easy to use. But by default, you saw it powers up and goes to Bluetooth mode, easy to pair. Right now, I've got it just playing on the stereo system. Um, so some of the features that, that work, um, he, we've got a microphone here. There is an XLR microphone input that he is showing you. Um, out a little bit there it goes so just a standard microphone um, port right there so we've got an XLR microphone input awesome if you want to have a jam session karaoke while you're camping take this to your kids soccer game and embarrass them all you do if you want to switch to the microphone hit the mode button go ahead and grab the mic here it is here turn it on test test 
test, test. And he's turning up the volume, test, test. So there's a separate microphone volume at the top. So you can fade in, fade out. Go ahead and turn it off. I'm just showing you that that works. You could also plug in a guitar or do really anything you want. There's really not anything um, stereo-wise that this can't do. So looking at some of the other inputs, we've got a 12-volt cigarette lighter port right there. Perfect, thank you. Um, there is also two standard 3.5 millimeter auxiliary jacks. Uh, if you want to play your phone, don't want to use Bluetooth. There is a powered USB port to charge your devices. There is a standard USB data port. There is an SDR slot for preloaded uh, music in MP3 or WMA uh, format right there on the side. Um, what else am I not mentioning? There's also a little slot to put your iPhone, um, keep it protected from the elements. Awesome. Can you close that? Oh, it locks shut, protects your phone. Perfect. So they've really thought through everything. Um, the, what else do I want to mention? So each side handle, I'm going to zoom out and ask him to rotate it. Nice little add in. What event is complete without a good old beer or root beer if you have kids? Um, so each side, we'll just show you this one side, but has a metal built in uh, bottle opener. Um, the back, we saw that there's a telescoping handle, um, really heavy duty wheels. I'm going to pick up the camera here. Sorry for the shake. So that's not even all the way up, but there's also um, these little bungee slots. Um, so we don't have bungees attached. You can use standard bungee cables or uh, purchase some from them, but to strap all your belongings. At the very bottom there, you can see there's a little port drain. And then I'm gonna ask him to spin it around and show us the front again. So that way I can just show you the inside of this as a final kind of all in picture. So first, actually I'll start at the top. You've got two drink holders. Go ahead, open that for us. Great little slot. So it's got a little lip, which makes it water resistant. You put your iPad, keys, wallet, whatever you want there. Um, all the stuff that comes with it can go in there. I can put the manual that tells you everything you need to know about the speakers. Um, you could, I've got them all bundled up so they won't fit right now, but the power to charge the cooler. But go ahead and close that up. Just snap it shut. Make sure you don't sit on this either. You just snap it. So go ahead and it's got a nice lock to keep all your stuff closed. Flip it up. There's the top and there is the inside. So this has a, I'm trying to look at the paper here so I can give you the right, right numbers. Um, this will hold up to 48 cans. It's a 40 quart compartment, really good size. Um, this has pretty good heft in the front of it. It's about 31 pounds before you put your devices in it. And um, thank you, you showing us a little bit light. And this is actually a cool little add-in. That light will fit right in there um, where you can pull it out. So all in, this is such a cool, cool, cool cooler, pun intended, and uh, really good value. So make sure you check it out. I'm really happy with the investment. My husband and I both like it and am really impressed with the power of the sound. Again, it's the Cool Max Cooler. I hope you enjoyed this. If this video has helped, let me know in the comments section and check it out. Cool Max. Thanks.